in science english medium unit 7 uh, first video will be number 1 video 1 from this video uh, i am going to remind you about isotopes which you have done in unit 3 that is uh, in atomic structure lesson also when you do this uh, unit 7 at the start so you have to uh, discuss about C12 isotope Therefore, I am going to explain you about isotopes from this video one. Isotopes are the different types of atoms of the same element. Isotopes can be defined as the different types of atoms of the same element. They differ not by the number of protons and electrons. They differ uh, from the actually number of neutrons only. There are different types of atoms of the same element in which number of neutrons vary. For example, in hydrogen there are three isotopes. Isotope 1, it has only one proton in the nucleus and one electron around it. Second type, you have one electron, one proton, same numbers, in addition to that, one neutron. There is another type, one electron, one proton, two neutrons. Two neutrons. Most of the hydrogen atoms are of this type. Therefore, we say this type is the main, this type is the main isotope. This is the main isotope of hydrogen. It has one proton. In all the atoms of hydrogen, you have one proton, one electron. Actually, number of neutrons vary. In this type, no neutrons. Atomic number of this isotope is atomic number is one, no? one proton. In the nucleus, we have only one proton only, no neutrons. Therefore, mass number is also one, one each one. This is number of protons, one. In the nucleus, we have one proton, one neutron. Therefore, mass number is two. In this type, or in this isotope, we have one proton and with number one, one proton and two neutrons, therefore there are three particles in the nucleus, three nucleus in the nucleus, therefore mass number three. Now these are the different types of atoms, so also you call isotopes present in hydrogen element. One H1, one H2, one H3. One H1 is protium. This is deuterium. This is tritium. Now, uh, we'll 
take another example carbon in carbon you have two isotopes in carbon you have i'm sorry in carbon you have three isotopes in carbon you have three isotopes in all this you have six protons therefore atomic number six in most of the carbon atoms you have six neutrons therefore here in this carbon isotope you have six protons and six neutrons in the nucleus they are both 12 mass number 12 in this isotope seven isotope carbon you have six protons and seven neutrons in the nucleus therefore mass number 13 in this isotope or in this type of carbon atom actually you have six protons and eight neutrons or to the 14 nucleons therefore this is C14 different types of carbon atoms are 6C12, 6C13, 6C14 C12, C13 and C14 but main isotope is C12 main isotope is C12 C12 means carbon isotope which has six protons and six neutrons now we take another example chlorine atomic number of chlorine is 17 in one isotope you have 18 neutrons therefore mass number 35 13 cl 35 this is 13 cl 37 37 these are the two isotopes of chlorine when we do this lesson actually unit 7 so you have to learn about relative atomic mass when we study about the relative atomic mass uh, you have to consider about a standard atomic mass unit standard atomic mass unit is taken as 1 12 of the mass of 1 12th of the mass of C12 isotope or C12 atom that is why from our first video uh, in unit 7 so we are we actually so we have discussed about isotopes because we need we have to use one twelfth of the mass of C12 isotope as the standard atomic mass unit. That is why actually this is so important. This uh, lesson, unit 7, is very important. In this unit, you have to learn about relative atomic mass, relative molecular mass, and the mole. So, these are very important actually. Therefore, this lesson is very important. Don't forget, do not forget to subscribe for these videos please do not forget to subscribe these lessons